guys, Brother Rich back here. I'm here with a little beer for you guys, and um, excuse me if I talk a little weird. I was running right now, so don't ask me why. So I'm here to give my thoughts on Roman Reigns versus The Undertaker. Some fans are going like this. Yes, the dead man versus the big dog. And some are going like this. Yeah, that's pretty much how it is right now. Before I get into the actual video, let me explain something that pissed me off. So as we all know, on Sunday, Paige tweeted out something about, I don't know, some wrestling show I don't really remember. And she used the word Mexican. I think saying that my Mexican will be there or something like that. And everybody went ape shit about it. Why? Because apparently it's racist for her to say that word. And she was referring to her husband, Alberto Del Rio, who's Mexican. I actually read about that and I'm like, really? How? I mean, oh my god, I mean, Aldo Rio is Mexican, so how in the hell is that racist? I didn't see everybody's uh, response to her, but I did see a few responses from not just from that uh, little article, but I also watched one of my subscribers' videos and I, and he was explaining like what they said. I'm like, really? That is just retarded. I mean, if you guys are saying that that's racist, I'm sorry, but you j clearly, you have no idea. Okay, but back to the main point. So Roman Reigns, you know, came out on Raw. Well, Undertaker came out on Raw first, and then, you know, Reigns came out, and he's like, this is my yard now, you know, and he chokeslammed him, and then, again, some people are happy, some people are mad. Now, do I think that this is going to be a good match? Let me break this down. Now, as far as the match it goes, I mean, as far as the match it goes, I'm not taking anything away from the match quality. I do think these guys can have a good match. Not a great match, but a good match. And also, I'm not taking any, anything away from um, uh, from any of these guys. You know, Undertaker has shown a lot. He's put on a lot of great matches with Shawn Michaels, Batista, Randy Orton, etc. And etc. And Roman Reigns has, sh uh, you know, put on great matches with AJ Styles, Seth Rollins, Bray Wyatt, Rusev, Triple H. Wasn't a great main event, but it was a pretty good match. And if you, and if you disagree with me, fight me, and etc. I understand why people are upset. Now, I mean, this is so weird, because like, they've done this three times where there's an opportunity right in front of them to have a dream match. You know, they did that, oh, for example, right now, you know, everyone wanted to see John Cena, <laughs> John Cena, and The Undertaker for the, you know, because they haven't wrestled since 2003, so they wanted that match, but they went with the big dog. Instead, and then also a few years ago, actually no, two years ago, we could have had Sting and Taker, but instead they went with Triple H, the Cerebral Assassin. Finally, they could have had Stone Cold and Hulk Hogan, but they went with The Rock and Hogan. Well, actually, it wasn't really their fault because these two guys had ego issues and didn't want to work with each other. So, you can't really blame Vince on that one. But that's my point, though. That, like, there's opportunities right in front of them. But they decide to, and the reason why I apparently I read why this match was canceled between Cena and Taker, and the reason was so stupid. They said that the reason is because it's not gonna build up anything for the future, which is true. I mean, if you think about it, it's not really gonna benefit any of these guys because they're both established, they they're both multi-time champions, whatever. So yeah, that is true. But you guys did Undertaker versus Shawn Michaels twice. Did that really do anything? I mean, I guess you can say it kind of did, you know, because that's why they had the rematch at the next pay-per-view. Still, though. And also, too, like, yeah, even though the match itself could be great, you gotta think about everything else, though. Like, will the fans be happy? Will the fans accept this match? You gotta think about all that stuff because, yeah, I mean, for example, okay, like, let's say today, let's say in 2017, if you were to have Hulk Hogan and Ultimate Warrior in a rematch from WrestleMania 6, I'm not cutting that match from 98, okay, that match was... I mean, Hogan, Hogan basically went for um, Hadouken. He went for a fireball to Warrior, missed, burned his own eyebrows. What you gonna do, brother? Okay, no, seriously, though. So imagine if 2017, they were to have a rematch in the main event of WrestleMania 33, Ultimate Warrior and Hulk Hogan, even though they're, like, in their 60s. Would it be cool to see, you know, to see a rematch between them? Maybe. Maybe it would be nice, you know, even though they're in their old age. But do you really think people would want to see this as the main event? In 2017? I don't think so. Or what about, you know, maybe um, Macho Man and Ricky Steamboat, a rematch from WrestleMania 3. Do you think people would want to see that? Maybe. Maybe it could be good. <laughs> but in 2017? Not so much. You see my point I'm trying to make? Like, yes, well, the match could be good. You got to think about the outrage. I'm like, I mean, hell, probably the most famous outrage was in the 80s where Ric Flair beat that one guy in his hometown of Puerto Rico. No joke. 
the crowd tried to kill Ric Flair. Apparently, he couldn't even go to the locker room to get changed, so he had to literally leave in, the, in his car in his ring gear. I'm pretty sure fans should know right now that wrestling is scripted, but some of them still take it hardcore, like, you know, that one fan that low blood Randy Orton. So, again, guys, I'm not taking anything away from any, any of these guys. You know, we got the old dog and the big dog or the, whatever they called it, and I really do believe this could be a good match. Do I think this will be Taker's last? I hope! Because this guy's, I mean, don't get me wrong, I like seeing him, but he needs to retire. I'm not saying he's lost, he's, um, he's lost his touch or he's washed up. I think it's best for him to have this match, retire, whether he wins or loses, and just, yes, enjoy his retirement. So that's my thoughts on this match, guys. Again, I'm not taking anything away from the match. I think these guys can put on a, a good match. Not great, but good. And if you guys have a problem with me, you know, um, not having that much of a problem with this match, again, fight me. That's gonna wrap this video up, guys. Stay tuned for my reaction video, which should be out later today. Let me know, do you guys want to see this match? Are you guys looking forward to it? Who do you want to win? I see people say it doesn't really matter who wins, but what you gonna do? Hit the notification button, like, comment, subscribe. Until then, Reckless Rich, <sighs> signing out.